Good morning. Praise the Lord. What a wonderful day the Lord has given to us. And I'm forever grateful that you and I are running the race that God has set before us. You know, this race is your race. And this race is my race. So you have to run your race diligently. I have to run my race diligently so we can obtain the prize that God has given to us. Aren't you glad that God has picked you and he has picked me up? Well, this morning I'd like to be able to share with you a scripture from Romans chapter 4 and verses 17. The New King James Version says, As it is written, I have made you a father of many nations. There you see it says, I have. It's already a past tense. So God is saying, I have already made you a father of many nations. And then in the presence of him whom he believed. So therefore Abraham was in the presence of God. Why? Because he believed in God. And you know what? God is not far, far away from us. God is always there. So it says that Abraham was standing in the presence of God, whom he believed. And this God whom he believed, he gives life to the dead and called those things which do not exist as though they did. So God was already calling Abraham, you are a father of many nations. Yet Abraham did not even have a son yet. So here we see he was believing in a God, and this God whom he was believing in was a God who calls things that be not as though they are. This one translation I like says this. That's what the scripture means when it says, I have made you the father of many nations. He is our example and father, that is Abraham, for in God's presence, he believed that God can raise the dead and call into beings things that don't even exist yet. In other words, God brings into existence what we do not see. In other words, there are things, your eyes that, there are things that your eyes don't see, but God will bring them into existence. But you have to do one thing. Abraham did that. And that was he believed in God. And the God whom he believed in was able to bring into existence those things which do not exist. And so you see, you and I have so many things that we know we should have, that we know we should partake of, that we know we should see. But the fact that we are not seeing them does not mean that they do not exist. They are existing spiritually because God is a spirit and therefore because God is a spirit, he created you and he created me in his own image, which is a spiritual image. And therefore spiritual things are spiritually designed. Therefore we have to obtain these things spiritually. So if you can see it from a spiritual standpoint, then you can have it in the natural presence. And therefore we have to do what Abraham did. We have to believe God. Therefore this morning, I will act to encourage you. Believe God for what does not exist in your life. Maybe it is your child. Maybe it is your children. Maybe it is your spouse. Maybe it is your finances. Maybe it is your business. Maybe it is your job. Maybe it is your co-workers. Maybe it is your community. That there are things you like to see that you're not seeing. All you've got to do is believe in God who will bring the things into existence that do not exist yet. Therefore, you go believing in him through his word. What does his word say? My children will be taught of God and great shall be their peace and undisturbed composure. But they are not peaceful right now. Yes, I believe God to, to bring into existence peace upon my children. And if you stay with God that way, then guess what? You will see your children walking in peace. Just like Abraham never had any child, but God called him a father of many nations. And as long as he believed God, guess what? Isaac showed up. Why? Because Abraham believed God that he'll bring into existence that which do not exist. And not only Isaac was born, many more children were born into Abraham. And by faith, now we can say we are children of Abraham. So this morning, I'd like to encourage you, don't give up so soon because you're not seeing that which you, let, uh, that which you expect. Keep your expectation up. Continue believing God and those things which do not exist will come into existence because you are believing in a father and your God who is a champion and he is good at making those things which do not exist come into existence. But you need your faith, which is your belief, because without faith it is impossible to please him. But if you please him by coming to him, expect him to reward you. Therefore, have a wonderful day and expect God to bring things into existence.